What's going on, beer tubers? We're starting another week, um, and this week I am going to look at more Central Waters beers that I picked up from the anniversary party. Um, I recorded a review on Super Bowl Sunday that I have not posted, and it'll be the Friday beer review for this week. But today we're going to kick things off with uh, one of the Brewers Reserve series from Central Waters Brewing Company. This is 2014 Bourbon Barrel Barley Wine Ale. Um, this is a barley wine that in the past, I believe, was a big, big beer. I want to say it was 12 plus percent, and they had to use um, some extract, not liquid, but dry malt extract to get things up when they were such a small brewery. This was years ago, probably 2009. <clears throat> it's 2014. The brewery is massive. It's got over 1,000 barrels, probably 2,000 by the end of this month and they are going full capacity here so that's pretty darn exciting with that said i am doing a little reading this week about hops actually rereading it and i don't know this is a big uh big barley wine this edition clocks in at 11.5 percent alcohol by wine and it's traditionally been one of my favorite barrel aged beers by them so i'm gonna go ahead and get it into a glass i had a 2012 not too long ago and I had this on tap at the anniversary party, and I remember it being a lot clearer. So this is quite murky. It does. It has nice ruby undertones that you can see. Mm, fingers worth ahead, but it looks really nice, and I can already smell the bourbon leaping out of the glass. So let's get our noses into it. Yep. That's the beer I remember. Big, boozy barley wine from hell. Although I will say, this vintage has a lot of barrel character. Not just boozy bourbon, but uh, there's some nice, sweet coconut and marshmallow jumping right out. You do kind of have to search for it. Kind of past the booze and the sweetness of the barley wine. It kind of reminds me of a... Poor man Sukaba, per se. But I'm really liking this year's uh, nose. Whew, a lot of those, you know, caramel toffee malts, some sweet fruits. Definitely like, I don't want to say dark fruits, but like candied raisins. Yeah, a lot of booze though. And uh, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and sink my lips into this bad dog. Cheers. Yeah, that's money. Well, that was quite interesting. Um, yeah, immediately there's just a lot of like toffee, creme brulee, marshmallow, coconut notes from the barrel. Um, there is a big boozy presence, but it's not um, it's not hot to the point where you don't want to really keep drinking it. Definitely lets you know it's there. Um, there's a good amount of hop character this year, and typically this falls more in line. Uh, previous vintages fell more in line with the English barley wine versus uh, like the likes of Sierra Nevada Bigfoot, where it's just hop to hell, or Behemoth, where it's just big, bitter, borderline triple IPA that's malty. Um, this one definitely does have some hop bitterness, but just lots and lots of sweetness. It's overall really, really awesome. I wouldn't keep buying it and aging it year after year after year after year if I didn't like it. Um, this did actually take a uh, gold medal in 2008, uh, Great American Beer Festival. So, yeah, this is the Brewer's Reserve Central Waters Burn Barrel Barley Wine, 2014 vintage. Uh, man, love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I, you know, a lot of people always ask me, how does this compare to the, the King Henry, or or how does this compare to um, the new Bourbon Barrel Barley one that Goose Island just released? Well, you'll probably have to watch to find out for that review. But, uh, you know, it's up there. It's, it's for the price, $10.99 for a four-pack. 
<laughs> Tell me a better bourbon barrel aged barley wine. Or show me one or send me one for that matter. But yeah, I'm going to go with 95 out of 100. And I think it's it's world class. It's delicious. But it just needs a hair amount of age to settle down on the booze character. And then I think it's borderline a perfect beer. So it's still... 11 degrees below zero outside here. It's, this marks, I think, the 43rd day below zero since winter started in Minnesota. It is February 10th, and I'm really not happy about that. So cheers to warming up, guys. Thanks for stopping by for yet another beer review. Let me know if uh, what your thoughts are and your opinions are on this beer, if you've had it before, if you've had previous vintages. Uh, is there anything to talk about to you? Um, yeah, you guys know what I think, so see you in the next beer review. Cheers.